All right, when you guys sent me a question uh, asking how long they should study for the MCAT. If you don't know, I'm Dr. Andre Pinta, the pre-med protein expert, and how long you should study for the MCAT is an answer, you are never heard an answer like this, is what I'll say. And my answer is you should study for four plus years. And what I mean by that is that the moment you realize you're gonna go to medical school, you should start studying for the MCAT. Why? Because the MCAT is not a new test. The MCAT is a cumulative test of what you should have learned in undergrad. It's what the AAMC thinks is important for you to know going into medical school. So why not use your undergrad time in all these classes that are the fodder for the MCAT, like your basic bio, your chemistry, your OCHEM, your psych, all these things are the fodder for the MCAT. Why not use your undergrad to prepare for it? That just makes sense to me. And so what I would say is, is you need to study as, as long as you can for the MCAT because if you do that, you can space out all the learning over time and it makes it much easier. For some of you guys, you're right up against it, right? You're a couple of months out from the MCAT and you're feeling stressed and overwhelmed because you see how much material's on it and you've never studied for the MCAT. So wouldn't it be smart to have started years ago? Wouldn't you wish that, right? As you're watching this video, if you're someone who's a couple months out from your MCAT test, I want you to comment. I want you to help these other students out. Comment in the box and say, man, I'm about to take the MCAT. I wish I would've started studying years ago for the MCAT. I wish. Right, And if you're right up against the MCAT, right, you don't have a lot of time, what I'll say to you is, is time is relative in the sense that when we talk about time, we're talking about weeks, months, whatever it might be, but there's also time you spend per day. So if you're at a limit, you only have a couple months before the test, what I would say is do everything you can to get as many hours per day in as you can to try to get as much time total studying as you can. Because time matters for your MCAT. And they've done studies on standardized tests that show the longer you spend studying for a test, the better your score will be. So put your time in to get the score you need on the MCAT. And for some of us, that's more time, some of us, that's less time. But don't trip off what other people do, right? When you hear everyone on videos talk about, oh, you're going to study for two weeks for the MCAT and get a 528. That's nonsense. Because what they're not telling you is, oh yeah, I've been someone who's been a high performer in all my classes and I've been studying effectively for years and so I really only need a little bit of time to brush up on the MCAT. But what I wanna tell you is, is don't trip off people who are like that. I want you to focus on what you have to do and however long you have to study to get your grade, that's what you do, right? If you're like, man, I've been studying for three months, my score hasn't improved, change up your methodology, get something different, but then continue to study. Do three more months, do six more months, do nine more months, it never matters because your ultimate goal is to get to medical school. So however long you gotta study to get the grade, that's what we do. If I gotta study five years to get my MCAT score, that's what I was gonna do because medical school mattered that much to me. And you have to figure out if medical matters enough for you, for you to put the focused, extended time in it takes to get a quality elite MCAT score. So how long should you study? As long as possible, right? Get as much practice, as much prep, as many questions as you can in and get the score you need. Because there's, if you're not studying, there's someone else out there who is studying who's gonna take your medical school admission. No excuses, just dominate, put the time in, get your MCAT score, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, and check it out. I got a free MCAT webinar. Three secrets for dominating the MCAT without an expensive prep class and without the stress. You can click on the link below and register. It's a totally free webinar for you to figure out how you can utilize your time the best and get the MCAT score you need. Thank you guys, have a great day. That is it for this episode of Dominate Pre-Med. Show me some love by commenting in the box below and taking a second to like this video. Be sure to visit premedproductivity.com to learn more about my empowering courses, pre-med coaching, and live events near you. While you're there, grab a copy of my free ebook, check out my blog, and sign up for a free webinar. Being a pre-med doesn't have to be filled with uncertainty and stress. You have greatness inside you. Let the pre-med put the expert show you how to unlock it so you can dominate pre-med and get into the medical school of your dreams. I'll see you next time.